Have you ever wanted to see the whole night sky in just one image, where you can see satellites pass overhead and meteor showers as they happen? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can do that from the device you are watching this on right now. I'm Green Kuttner, the student director of the VBAS, and today I'm on top of the Angla Observatory to talk to you about this. Well, more specifically, this. This is the VBAS All Sky Camera. It uses a wide angle lens with a standard astrophotography camera to capture images of the entire night sky 24 hours a day. Anyone can look at these images in real time on our website which is useful for checking current weather conditions and visibility. You can also view a time lapse of images from previous nights. The camera saves every image it takes, so that we can check them days or months later for meteor strikes and other astronomical events. And that's what happened on September 26th last year. Some people on Facebook reported seeing a bright object streaking across the night sky. We suspected this was a meteor strike, so we opened up the image files for the date and time the event was reported. Sure enough, we found an image that captured the streak. We also found that at the same time, our VBAS radio antenna detected a significant meteor strike. This pretty much confirmed that it was a meteor. With this information, we can learn more about what direction the meteor came from and how bright it was. In the future, we hope we can use this kind of data to contribute to some interesting science. For now, we're just happy to be a part of the All Sky Map and community so that people around the world can see the skies above our observatory. You can view the latest image taken by our All Sky Camera by visiting vbass.org. See the link in the description below. This is also a good way to see the weather conditions on Saturday nights for our planetarium shows, and to see what astronomical objects will be up in the night sky. If you enjoyed learning about our All Sky Cam, you may want to build one yourself. In a future video, we'll show you how we built ours and provide details about the parts we used. If you build your own All Sky Camera, please share a link in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.